the proliferation of a wide range of ballistic missile capabilities and increasingly complex and difficult conventional missile threats is a significant challenge for both maritime forces and for our deployed forces operating anywhere in the globe. The Maritime Theatre Missile Defence Forum is the leading multinational coalition delivering maritime integrated air and missile defence from a sea base protecting our forces and people. The Maritime Theater Missile Defense Forum goes back to the late 90s. Representatives from the US, Germany, and the Netherlands kind of had a vision in terms of what was happening in the world with, with the changes in threats from an air defense perspective and a ballistic missile defense perspective. And what they agreed to do is formulate this group of nations that would have the capability and the capacity to address those threats. In October 2015, 10 nations came together to demonstrate allied at-sea defense against anti-ship and ballistic missile threats on and around the Hebrides range in the UK. During the demonstration, almost 40 separate events were completed, which included the launch of four ballistic missile targets, one exo-atmospheric intercept, 11 cruise missile targets flown, and nine surface-to-air missiles fired. Etsy Demonstration 15 is an opportunity for the Maritime Theater Missile Defense Forum to gather ships from different nations together to demonstrate our capabilities to perform integrated air and missile defense. At Sea Demonstration 2015 was the first opportunity for the forum to conduct numerous naval interoperability tests, some of which included live weapons firings to demonstrate coalition maritime integrated air and missile defense. Each nation had its own part to play, utilizing their state-of-the-art maritime capabilities collaboratively to deliver one goal. Working together for many years, the MTMD Forum used crucial proven partnerships to research, shape and ultimately deliver the level of interoperability achieved during numerous scenarios. This included the use of 5.7 million square miles of tactical data link involving new national and international connections, which are now proven for future use. There will be a terrier riot launched, the Netherlands will detect it, we can track it, and we can pass that information through the data link to the other side of the ocean, to an American Aegis unit. ASD-15 was collectively funded by the participating nations with additional investment from the UK to deliver permanent capabilities in the Hebrides. To prepare for this multinational event, the MOD Hebrides range, operated by Kinetic, accommodated international teams, upgraded equipment and installed new launch systems. Not only that, but ASD-15 delivered a number of firsts. The first use of multinational, beyond line of sight data link for maritime integrated air and missile defense in Europe, which has established a new baseline for interoperability. The first launch of Standard Missile 3 outside the US Pacific ranges, resulting in the first exo atmospheric intercept from European waters. The first European maritime units queuing a US guided missile destroyer in a ballistic missile defense role. And not forgetting, the first object launched into space from UK soil. The rocket that we're flying is a Terrier Orion. These things fly totally ballistic. We've never flown a target out of the Hebrides range before, so what we've had to do is install a launcher. We ship everything over here, and then we spent several weeks building these targets up. While success of the events was key, safety was of paramount importance. The range has a standard danger area of 115,000 square kilometers, which was extended for ASD-15 to 460,000 square kilometers. To accommodate the safety trace of the combined weapon systems, this danger area would almost completely cover Spain. The Hebrides range assured the safety of the operating areas throughout. Kinetic are offering the largest air range in Europe to allow this to happen. The main events in ASD-15 are so big they actually go beyond the range boundaries. We're going into Irish airspace, we're also going into Icelandic airspace. One of the complex integrated air and missile defence scenarios that was executed during the demonstration saw the multinational maritime force deployed to the west and southwest of the Hebrides at alert against cruise missile and ballistic missile threats. 
An Air Defence Task Group comprising of Norway, Canada, USA and the UK was positioned up threat, providing early warning and protection to a second group on station for ballistic missile defence. Two fast approaching targets controlled from the island of St Kilda, 40 miles out, were detected by the Air Defence Group. Simultaneously, a ballistic missile launch was detected. These were rapidly assessed and reported through the link architecture. Weapon allocations were assigned and engagement planning commenced. At this point, the Terrier Orion ballistic target, tracked by the Royal Netherlands Navy, cued the US Navy, who rapidly acquired the reported track. Whilst the cruise missile targets were engaged by the air defense units, the US Navy fired a standard missile 3 to conduct an exo-atmospheric intercept. The lead MIRAC was engaged by a long-range missile fired by the US Navy, and the second MIRAC was destroyed by short-range missiles by the Canadian Navy. Four, three, two, one. Our ships were all operating at full capacity. Targets performed flawlessly. Our execution teams did everything they needed to do. The link was strong, and we hit every objective, and we got all the data that we needed to get to declare success. It's just been an honor seeing the way the teams were able to come together, share data, deal with some tough problems, and resolve those very early. I really would like to thank our United Kingdom hosts and the Kinetic-operated Hebrides range. For me, it's always been build a little, test a little, learn a lot. And although we achieved a lot, we ain't done yet. There's more to do, and we're all very excited about executing the future.